up Prius owners welcome to another Prius video on my YouTube channel and I'm making this video because I've decided today that I want to part ways with my Prius I've had my time with my Prius Gen 2 I think this is a Gen 2 Prius and um, 2005 Toyota Prius 200,000 miles I'm gonna give you guys some of the history and experience that I've had in owning this car and taking it from the 100,000 mile club to the 200,000 mile club. So if you're thinking about buying a Prius or you have a Prius or you're thinking about selling your Prius also, then this is the video for you to watch. I'm driving around today, it's Friday here in La Habra. I like recording videos on Fridays. Just get good vibes on Fridays. So I'm gonna post this car later today, but before I post it, I'm gonna make this final video on things that you need to know about the Toyota Prius, things that I had to replace, and my overall experience with owning 2005 Toyota Prius all the way up to 2022 which year that we're in right now so just driving to a park right now where I could pull over and step outside and show you guys around my vehicle and show you some of the things that I've replaced some of the things that I've kept up and some of the things that I didn't like about this vehicle and some of my favorite things so let's pull up to this park now thanks for checking out this video guys if you guys like this video smash the like button make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other content on my YouTube channel so let's pull over now and let me show you guys my black 2005 Toyota Prius. It's the base model. And like I said, just crossed over 200,000 miles. So let's see what she's all about. I'm gonna pull over now. So I pulled up to a park where I filmed quite a few cars here on my YouTube channel. If you've seen my channel before, if you're new to my channel, you can see I filmed quite a few of the cars that I've owned here. Nissan Sentra motor, it's a four cylinder. So uh, that would check off my list for uh, gas mileage, but I did. The rear end's a little bit different and the horsepower is bumped up on this model. I will be getting some more content of this, but this is a Fair Lady Z from Japan. So this is a right hand drive car. Uh, v <laughs> But um, overall, I think the two-wheel drive is cool. I might end up buying a four-wheel drive later. I'm not sure. All right, what's up, guys? Just doing a little YouTube update. 2008 Honda Civic Mugen SI edition. And um, car's pretty much... And I've owned quite a few cars in my lifetime as well. So when it comes to me reviewing one of my cars or something that I've driven, I actually have experience with owning and driving multiple vehicles. Uh, it's just something that I've been into my whole life. So I've owned plenty of cars and I've driven plenty of cars. So when I give my experience and my perspective on a vehicle, I think it's pretty valid and I know what I'm talking about. Though if it comes down to specifications of the vehicle, I might be a little bit wrong. So, okay, so we got the Toyota Prius behind me right here. So let me tell you guys, I'm gonna flip the camera around. It's easier for me to look at the car and uh, point the camera straight at what I'm looking at and talk to you guys with me focusing on the car and not looking at the camera. So with me visualizing the car right in front of me, I can tell you guys right off the bat the things that I like and the things that I don't like. And I'll be able to clearly see the things that I did replace versus holding this camera up like this. I didn't bring any filming equipment, nothing to hold my camera further away from me. This is like an unexpected video. But these unexpected Friday videos, they're usually pretty good when I uh, post them on YouTube. Uh, some of the unexpected videos that I've filmed on my channel always do good. So hope you guys enjoy this video once again. But let's flip the camera around so I can show you my Toyota Prius. Here it is, 2005 Toyota Prius. How I got this car, a quick rundown. I had a flatbed trailer that is for like towing cars or small trucks. And I put it up for sale and uh, someone... I. I said that I would trade for a gas saver car because I, I needed something that would fit in my apartment garage. Someone offered me this Toyota Prius. They were a Toyota tech. They worked for a Toyota dealership. This car looked like it was very well maintained and I thought it was a great deal to trade my trailer. So I traded this car for my trailer. Um, so it was a pretty good deal, pretty good deal, honestly. This is my second Prius and not my, it's like my fourth hybrid that I've owned. I owned the generation after this Prius, which is a little bit newer. Uh, I've never had this generation before, but I had a very good experience with this vehicle. Um, you can see in one of my other YouTube videos, I did pop these headlights out because of the age of the car and the mileage. They were very uh, beaten by the elements and they were very foggy and yellow. I also upgraded the stock bulbs to LED bulbs to give better visibility at night. So that's one of the upgrades that I did. I also did um, carbon fiber tinted on the, on the on the whole vehicle, so it has a carbon fiber rear tint, carbon fiber tint all around. Uh, lots of good privacy 
and it protects your skin from the sun pretty well. I'm over here at like a baseball game, so sorry if you guys hear background noise. But yeah, I just added like tint. It has LED lighting right here that I put uh, because with tinted windows at night, it gets very dark in the cabin. And these lights, um, well, they used to not do much help, but I did replace all these lights with LED lights. So I'll get a video tonight of how it looks, but I uh, kept the interior pretty stock. So I also added a trailer hitch on the rear. You can see in one of my YouTube videos as well, where I use this trailer hitch to tow a little small auto detailing trailer as well. So I did use this car for school for work and for side hustling on mobile auto detailing just finished up doing this toyota prius a prius washing a prius it's pretty cool everything is working fine right now i love the new setup so i found this car to be very versatile and very good on miles per gallon very reliable very low cost maintenance um, i didn't need to do a lot to the car one of the things I don't like about the Toyota Prius is on the front end, um, the hoods are usually prone to highway chips um, very easily. They have a very thin uh, base coat and clear coat, so they chip very, it's very common on the Toyota Prius. But otherwise, the side panels, the doors, the quarter panels, the roof, all the clear coat and the base coat has held up pretty well, so I haven't had any issues with the paint. Obviously, you could cut this and polish the paint, do like a two or three step paint correction and you can get the paint to shine up a lot more but if you're in the market for one of these cars i'll tell you um you'll find some with these paint chips it's pretty normal so don't feel too discouraged you can get the hood re-sprayed re and it's not that big of a hood either so it doesn't cost that much to respray this hood but um yeah the headlights definitely needed to be upgraded i'm gonna post the car probably for five thousand um i already had posted up an offer up and facebook marketplace ads so You'll see that pop up as well. And I'll give you guys feedback on how my sale goes. Just in case you're thinking about selling one or you're going into the market for one of these vehicles. You can see my experience as a seller and me selling this car. And let me get you the exact mileage so we can see how many miles we're messing with on this car. And I'll show you guys how it looks underneath the engine. Because I know no matter what, um, you know, cars have different lives and different owners people treat them differently so not every car is going to be equivalent in condition and last as long so i'm at 201,378 201,000 miles 378 i'm on the stock front struts stock rear struts they're a little bit leaky but they're not bouncy the car still rides like stock and normal i'm on the stock control arms mostly stock suspension stock motor and transmission just keep your tire pressure checked your brakes lubricated your pads lubricated and you'll get good mpgs with this <clears throat> one thing to note also before we check under the hood it does matter who you get the car from and the owner because if someone maintenances the car throughout its whole life, it's obviously going to last a lot longer than someone who does the bare minimum maintenance or doesn't maintenance it at all. So when it comes to you shopping for a Toyota Prius or something like 2005 through 2009, I think this model runs, you know, just talk to the owner, you know, see if they've owned the car for a while, if they have any documents or any information on what they've done to the car. And you can tell how people are, their lifestyle, you know, like just talking to someone, you can ask them what they're into, you know, just small talk when it comes to doing a transaction like this like you buying a car so you can kind of read the person when you talk to them and you can see how they kept up the car so i mean if you get bad vibes from someone and you see that the car hasn't been kept up or there's things that are broken or there's like warning lights or something like that then i would go ahead and pass on that prius but um if it's someone that's taking care of their car i think these cars can go up to like four or five hundred thousand miles easily so i'm not scared of the two hundred thousand miles that my car has I just kind of want something that's a little bit bigger. Um, like I said, I've owned a lot of cars, so it's pretty common for me to move on from one daily driver to another daily driver or upgrade every now and then. And like I said, I've owned the newer Prius version from this one. So I've owned the next version, and then this is the, the older version before that. And I just kind of got this one to get my way through college and finish school and use it for work and side hustling. So it did serve its purpose. 
but I think it's time now to upgrade my car and kind of look around and find something different. And I also, there's a noise in my dash that I don't know if it'll come on while I'm recording the video, but there's like a clicking noise in my dash that I've tried to take my dash apart and find it. And I just can't find it. So I'm going to note that when I'm selling the car and uh, hopefully the next person who owns this car and purchases it from me, whoever buys it off my hands, they can maybe find what that problem is because i've tried everything and i can't find out what the hell the clicking is in my dashboard so um i mean I, like i said i put a few bucks into this car and maintenance it and did everything that it needed so whoever gets the car is going to get a good original motor and transmission i think this car has lots of life in it so you know 200,000 miles on these cars is not something to be scared of they can easily go 400 or 500,000 miles um just look at the forums and blog posts about these toyota priuses they're really low cost maintenance like to maintenance them doesn't cost a lot of money so that's why you need to stay up on the maintenance because you're going to save yourself more money in the long run but let's go ahead and take a look under the hood so you can see what a 200,000 mile prius looks like in 2022 but it's well kept so let me show you guys what my engine looks like so i have my ac on but you can see you know some good indicators of a good well-maintained engine is like this is regularly clean but not you know crazy detailed but you can see like the plastic in here, the plastic container, the reservoirs, um, everything is not cracked. Um, nothing's broken. There's no caps missing or anything like that. No weird leaks from the valve covers. The 1NZ FX, that's the motor that it has. Um, I get no leaks from this. I'm pretty sure it's the original valve cover gaskets. I've never changed the spark plugs or the, or, um, the coil packs. I've never changed anything like that. Most of this stuff is original. Like I said, it just has general maintenance. If you maintain these motors, uh, oil changes, you know, check your fluids and uh, if any codes or anything were to come up, handle them right away. And then, you know, when you do get your car washed, maybe clean the engine bay once a month or once every month and then just kind of keep the engine nice and clean and that will maintain the vehicle value for this Toyota Prius. So good experience with this motor and transmission. I never had no issues. I did have to change the hybrid Synergy Drive uh, water pump, the inverted cooling water pump, which is like a plastic water pump. You can access it by removing this headlight. It usually goes out on these Toyota Priuses. That's one of the most common issues is uh, it's a water pump. So I mean, if you guys have any questions about that, maybe you have the same experience, you can let me know. But um, overall, you know, I didn't have to replace a lot, just the water pump. I had to get some, some brake hardware for my front brake shoes. And uh, oh, also I think another common issue on Toyota Prius for this generation is there's a blower motor fan up here. So all this plastic comes off and there's a blower motor fan in there. So I've seen a lot of people that when my blower motor went out, it would like blow out of the vents sometimes. And sometimes the blower motor would not blow, but you can kind of feel the AC. So I had to replace the blower motor, which was like $90 from O'Reilly's or no, I got it from AutoZone. So I got a blower motor from AutoZone and I did it all myself. It took like 20 minutes and the blower motor that you get from AutoZone comes with the warranty. It's by Continental. So it's a good uh, quality blower motor to replace your stock one. So other than that, blower motor and water pump, some brake hardware, and then I got my windows tinted and then added LEDs for the floor you can see the leds lit up they look really nice at night like i said for better visibility when i'm grabbing stuff in a rush or i'm driving around at night because this is my car that i drive all throughout the day uh, morning till night i'm in this thing riding around everywhere so at night here in california it's sometimes it's hard to see with the tinted windows so i kind of just have these interior lights to help me look at what i'm grabbing or if i'm looking for something in my car in a rush and like i said i replaced all the interior lights with leds all the way down to these ones were replaced with leds but um yeah just little modifications and like i said the trailer hitch so i could pull small trailers or even put a bike rack on the back so there's a little walk around on my toyota prius great cars very low cost um to even buy one of these and very low cost to maintain like i said just get one that's been maintained by an actual owner and not one that someone just had and drove the crap out of it and they're just trying to flip it for a profit or something or someone bought one or you know you can tell when they're in accidents too i would prefer that if i'm buying a car like this that all the the panels are original um all the vin numbers are on the doors 
you know, just check to make sure that they're all Toyota VIN numbers on the doors. That way you know that it's the original panel from the factory and not replaced. Um, you can tell when cars have been resprayed. So, you know, just do your research on those types of things. And these cars are pretty common, so it shouldn't be that hard to find a very well-kept Toyota Prius. To be completely honest, the 200,000 mile club for the Toyota Prius is really nothing to be worried about as long as you've maintained the car, oil changes, had the inverter cooling water pump checked. Check, um, I mean, that's the only thing that I've had to check from like mid 100,000s to 200,000s. I only had to change the inverter cooling, water, inverter cooling water pump. I had to change that and my blower motor and some brake hardware and just regular oil changes like i said they're very low maintenance cars um i didn't have to do a lot to it so i can't tell you what to check on it because the car was such a good car that i didn't need to replace like five or ten different things on it they're very low maintenance low cost maintenance cars uh, very good car very good experience if you're looking for one of these cars i had to make a fresh video because on youtube you'll usually find for this car like videos that are five or six seven eight years old and since they're older cars from 2005, I wanted to make a contemporary video for someone to watch if you're in the market since gas prices are on the rise and people are starting to buy electric cars. There's more electric cars coming out, um, electric vehicles, EVs, and some people don't like the idea of driving something that's completely EV. So everyone has the alternative to go to a hybrid if they're not going for an all gas vehicle. So. That's why I see the market for Priuses, uh, you know, kind of increasing demand because uh, it's a hybrid vehicle and uh, you still get kind of the same effect of an EV, but you get to run on gasoline as well. And it doesn't cost as much as an EV and they're a little bit easier to maintain because they're like contemporary gasoline engines where you can still get a lot of the parts are pretty common. And um, like I said, oh, one other very useful tip for these cars is. The age of the vehicles, I know they're um, they're hybrid, so they do have a battery. There's a battery pack. One very helpful tip that I'm gonna give you guys is that if you see a Prius that's been sitting for a long time and the miles are lower, um, there's room to be cautious about the battery because when batteries sit, that's when uh, they start to develop issues when you don't use them. So batteries in Priuses and hybrids when you drive the car, the car has been driven often on like highways and a city or driven at least a few times a week throughout its lifetime. That battery is likely to be in good condition because uh, as long as, you know, you test the MPGs, it shows a monitor on the screen on the Prius, you know, take it for a test drive. See what you're getting on the current MPGs because I'm getting about 50 to 60 MPGs on this Toyota Prius. And like I said, this car's from 2005, we're in 2022 and I'm still getting 50 to 60 mpgs on the original battery pack but that's because this car has been driven regularly throughout its life so it doesn't have any issues with the battery sitting or aging or not being used at all so that's a quick tip right there you want a car that's been driven and not been sitting for a long time because in the batteries the cells are not working and they start to develop issues you can look more into that on forums and and like groups for priuses but um, i know that is a fact for sure that that as long as the batteries are being used and the car gets used regularly and the battery is not sitting, the battery is likely to be in better condition. So I just wanted to give you guys that little bit of advice. My next car, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. So keep watching this video and check out some of the reviews and some of the conversations that I have with the, cu the customers contacting me. So if you wanna see how the sale goes and who I sell this car to and who buys it and how much I get, you want to know what the Prius is going for in April 2022 with 200,000 miles, not perfect paint, not perfect interior, daily driver car like mine. I'm going to show you what my car sells for. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you guys the conversations coming right up. I'm going to go home and edit this video right now, and then I'll throw in whatever I get from these people throughout the day or through the weekend whenever the car sells. I suspect the car will sell fast because it's in good condition, registered in my name. Everything is completely clear. So I don't think I'll have trouble selling this car and it runs with no issues. So we're going to go and edit this video and I'm going to show you guys all the responses from the customers. And when it does sell, I'll let you know what I get for it. So you guys can have a better idea of what to sell your Toyota Prius with your miles and condition. You know, obviously something to uh, think about when pricing your vehicle or when you're out going to buy a Prius. I'm going to show you guys my raw experience. So let's see how this goes. But for my next vehicle, 
I don't know, uh, I have a Ford F-150, but I'm thinking like I do want to get an a Lexus LS460, so maybe like a 2010, 2012 Lexus LS460. I might get one of those. I know it's like a big upgrade like in size wise, but I like the way they feel. They have very soft suspension and I'm looking for something with less road noise. But um, I also might consider jumping two generations from this generation Prius. So like a 2015, 2016 Toyota Prius. I'm not sure. Um, I have no idea, but we'll see. Like I said, I'm gonna keep this video rolling. I'm gonna keep filming whatever happens even after filming today and showing you guys around my car. We'll see how, what happens when I sell the car and if I end up buying a car right after, I'll record that too. But whatever happens, keep watching. I'm pretty sure there'll be some cool surprises later in this video, guys. So let's head back to the house now and check some of the messages from the customers. So I was gonna get rid of my Toyota Prius to buy this. Isuzu Vihi Cross. Test driving it right now and I don't think I'm gonna end up selling my Toyota Prius because uh, this is a pretty odd car. It's pretty rare. It's pretty cool looking, but I don't think this is for me. Um, would I get one of these, a Vihicross? Uh, it's a pretty rare car. It's cool looking. Four wheel drive. It's got some nice tires on it, but um, it's definitely different looking. Um, if I find a better condition V across, I'll definitely buy it. This one's on my bucket list, but I'm not gonna take this one home because uh, the paint is just not in the best shape. The suspension doesn't feel the best. Uh, when I'm driving it, the suspension feels pretty worn out and wobbly. The power steering has some issues on it, um, but the wheels are nice and uh, the body's all original got some paint fading and stuff like that the motor feels strong it's definitely a cool looking vehicle but um yeah i'm not gonna take this view across home it's got the abs light on uh the ricaro seats are kind of uh aged in the wrong way rear red seats are in pretty good condition the headliner has some issues um you can see here the stereo is just not installed right but we had to test drive the V across since we drove all the way here got the money right there in the bag uh, it's got a little tiny V across right here but i had to make a quick little episode on a 1999 V across vehicle so you could uh i could get this on my channel because i don't even know if i'll ever be able to find another one of these V across vehicles <laughs> All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the end of this episode of the Toyota Prius, the 2005 Toyota Prius. You're about to see some screenshots of the conversations and offers that I received so you can see what the Prius market is like if you're buying one or if you're gonna sell your Prius. Here are some of the offers that I got here in 2022, some of the offers that I got on my Prius with 201,000 miles. I got a lot of 5,000 offers as you can see right off the bat. Some lower offers and some funny offers that I gave dumb replies to because they were dumb offers. So you give me a dumb offer and you can expect a dumb message in return. I only showed my car to one person today and the guy was kind of wasting my time. He still needed to get rid of his car and I don't know why he came to look at my car if he didn't even sell his car yet. So there's just some weird people like that out in the world. But I went to go check out that Isuzu um, the Via Cross uh, crossover vehicle. It's like a very rare vehicle that you've seen earlier in this video. You know, right now I just went to go check that vehicle out. And on my way back, I decided again for the second time I've done this. I'm not going to sell my Prius. I'm going to delete the ad from uh, Facebook Marketplace and offer up. So I'm going to take the ad down. I decided not to sell my car. This is the second time that I've done that. I took my trailer hitch off the rear, removed the LED interior lighting. 
took off a few other things that I personalized on the interior. So I'm just like, second time I've done this where I thought I was gonna sell my car and I decided not to just because the vehicle market right now is so crazy here in California. Like I'm trying to find a clean car to replace this vehicle here. And if I can't find something that I like just as much as my 2005 Toyota Prius, I'm not gonna sell my car because then what am I gonna replace it with, you know? I'm not gonna go and buy a vehicle that I don't like as much as this one, like I said. I missed out though on a Mercedes, a 2001, I think it was, Mercedes E-Class E55 AMG it was a killer deal for 8,500 and it sold within a few hours. That vehicle I would have replaced my Prius with. If it wasn't that, then I would have replaced it with an LX, uh, Lexus LS 460 and I was not able to find one yet. Like I said, the car market right now in California or maybe even other states as well, it's just super crazy. All the cars are marked up right now. Everything is going crazy. So I'm just going to sit tight while I had this 2005 Prius while it's reliable right now. Maybe put some more work into it. Um, might add some like fog lights to the front end because it's the stock base model. And um, you can see right here. This one does not have the fog light option. Um, but if you remove the grill on the base model Prius, if you move the, remove the grill on the base model Prius, there is an option to add the fog lights on this vehicle. So I'm just gonna add the fog lights on it and then maybe do a shampoo on the interior and uh, maybe personalize the interior a little bit more, get some new floor mats and stuff like that. Just refreshing the interior up. Since I am gonna keep the vehicle for a little bit longer, I don't wanna deal with these low ballers and I don't wanna buy a car off a of flipper. That Isuzu that I went to go check out right now, the View Cross, it was, uh, ended up being a flipper that was selling it and you just can't trust them with odometers or with a vehicle history. You don't know what the car's been through. So I decided not to move forward with that. I don't wanna deal with buying a car from a private party unless it's someone that's had the car, you know, for a few years and they know the history of the vehicle. So that's why I'm just gonna chill for now until a hot deal pops up. And if I do get like an Alexis LS460, if I find the one that I'm looking for, like in a pearl white color, I'm gonna jump on it. If I find an E55 AMG, then I'm going to get that as well. So those are the two cars that are on my list right now. Until then, I'll be rocking this Prius. And like I said, I'm going to personalize it a little bit more. I got to work on my F-150 right now. I'm doing a paint correction on that. And I'm building a 240SX S13. So I got two cars to keep me busy. And then I can just work on the interior and the exterior a bit. Maybe do a paint correction on my Prius. And a little bit of work here and there. Maybe work on some RC cars and uh, work on the YouTube channel. So, you know, I got more than enough work to keep me busy right now, but I appreciate you guys checking out the 2005 Toyota Prius video. Like I said, she's not going to be sold. I'm going to hang on to this car a little bit longer. That's how much I like this car, and I'm not going to replace it for just anything because it runs great even at 201,000 miles. So thanks for checking out my YouTube channel, guys. Make sure you check out some of my other episodes on my YouTube channel. Hit the like button, comment down anything you want to ask me about the Toyota Prius, the View Cross, the... E55 AMG that I'm looking for, uh, LS460, any cars that you see on my channel, anything that I mentioned, you have any questions, you know, go ahead and reach out, comment. I reply to all my comments and, uh, you know, check out my other content. I have a variety of automotive, uh, BMX bike, RC car content on my channel. I'm always creating different stuff. So check out my content and I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this episode. If you watched it all the way till the end, thanks for supporting my channel and my videos. It means everything to me. So catch you guys on the next episode. I'm gonna go upstairs, cook some dinner. And uh, just relax for the night, edit some videos, you know what, you know how it goes. Play some Xbox, some Halo, if you got some Xbox Series X. Uh, I mean, if you have Xbox One, I guess if you play Halo, add me. Shoot your gamer tag down in the comments. Let's get on a party together. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Over and out, guys. Street Influence Channel. See you next time.